Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn and today I am making one of my favorite renditions of mashed potatoes. It's horseradish mashed potatoes with caramelized onions and it is truly divine with just about anything from roast to pork chops to fish. I mean, it is truly the perfect mashed potatoes. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is get your caramelized onions going. So I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, a couple of teaspoons of, or tablespoons of butter in two skillets. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get that melted while I cut my onion. So I'm going to be cutting the onion. Half of it I'm going to cut for the inside of the potatoes. I don't like to get a lot of stringy stuff in my potatoes, so I'm gonna cut the first part of this, or the first half of this, small. I'm gonna do just a um, diced onion, and in the other, I'm gonna make those rounds. So it's pretty simple to do, and the garnish is gonna be the rounds, are gonna be the rounds of the onion, which you're gonna to put to flavor the potatoes inside them. You're gonna do that diced. Okay, so here are the rounds that I'm gonna saute. Or actually, I'm, I'm really gonna get these nice and dark. So I'm caramelizing them to bring out all the sugars. Some people actually even put some sugar in with their onions, but I'm not gonna need to do that. They get nice and sweet as they are. Plus, I'm using Vidalia onions, and they are really packed with sweetness. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish the second half of this by just going around and making tiny little cuts all the way around the outside of the onion. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut it very, very small, just dicing it up. All right, slide that into a separate pan because one's going in the potatoes, one on top. Okay, I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of salt and you can add freshly ground pepper or white pepper if you like in with the onions. While they're cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and begin boiling the potatoes. It'll all finish about the same time. It's gonna take about 20 minutes for the onions and the potatoes to get done. So I'm just cutting this potato into chunks. And I'm using, using two. Um, I actually have this recipe on my blog and I use more potatoes for that one just because I cook for a large family and I figured that you might wanna take this to a family event or you may wanna entertain with these potatoes because they are quite delicious. I'm gonna fill this just covered with water. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to a boil. All right, these are fork tender and it's time to drain. Okay, I'm gonna let them sit there for a minute. I'm gonna shake them around just a little bit so that all of the water gets through. I want them to be pretty dry when I start adding my cream and all of the other things. While my potatoes are drying, I wanna tell you two tips that are gonna keep your potatoes from becoming gummy. The first one is, to make sure that you put warm or hot ingredients like the butter and the cream that you'll be using in your potatoes when you mash them up, make sure that they're warm and not cold. If they're cold, it messes the whole thing up. Number two is not to over whip your potatoes. If you do, I don't know what happens, but it gets gummy, so don't do that. Also use really good potatoes like russet potatoes or yellow or um, yellow Yukon. I say yellow, but Yukon potatoes. So those are great choices for mashed potatoes and you will have no trouble at all. Okay, so now I've got my potatoes and they're nice and dry. So I'm gonna put them back into my pan, okay? And I'm gonna start putting the ingredients in. The first thing that I wanna put in is the caramelized onions. Now this is really gonna help the flavor. It is just gonna make the flavor sing in, in this dish. So that's gonna add the sweetness that you're looking for in the dish. Now, you're gonna add a little bit of bitter, bitter 
with horseradish. Now it's a subtle bitter. It's not going to be super bitter, but it, it's going to really, really help with the onions. And then you're going to add a little bit of mustard. So that is really going to add the acidity that you need to balance out the sweet in the onions. Okay, so now comes the butter. And it's a whole stick of butter, guys. So it's going to be a lot of butter, but I promise you it's going to be delicious. I'm going to get that mashed up first before I put in the cream. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of the cream in. I probably won't use all of this, and that is another thing. You don't want to use too much liquid. Okay, so all of that butter that was room temperature melted in here, and oh my goodness, it's given such a silky, silky potato. Okay, so now I'm going to put it into the serving dish. Okay. Uh, they're perfect. Look at how delicious this is going to be. I don't know about you, but mashed potatoes are like by far one of my very favorite vegetables. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to put on top of that my caramelized onions that I did in circles. Okay, just put those over the top. And then, to make it even more beautiful, I'm going to cut a little bit of parsley and put that right over the top of that. Cut up really fine all over the top. There you go. Put a spoon in it, and now we are ready to serve our horseradish mashed potatoes with caramelized onions. I cannot wait to dig in.